Hello, today we will be reporting about volcanoes and doing an experiment later. This beautiful mountain is beside Geometrica and Lake Geo. This gigantic volcano is one of Geometrica City's greatest attractions. You may ask, what's a volcano? Good question. Volcano is an opening in Earth's crust where lava, dust, and gases are ejected in to the surface during eruptions. Anyways, the most prominent part of a volcano is its cone, which is formed by the mountainous accumulation of volcanic materials. Crater is a steep wall of depression at the peak of the volcano. And a volcanic vent, which is a cylindrical channel that connects the mouth to the magma chamber. Mount Ta'al, Mount Mayon, and Mount Pinatubo are examples of active volcanoes in the Philippines. Volcanic eruptions can cause a serious impact on living things, the economy, and the environment. However, volcanic activities can also produce some benefits because of the very rich nature of the ejected materials. Volcanic activities have created some of the most scenic and fertile regions in the Philippines. Now we're going to talk about the types of volcanoes based on shape. The first is shield volcanoes. A shield volcano is a type of volcano with a wide base, gentle sloping sides. These types of volcanoes are formed during mild or uh, quiet eruptions. The best examples are in Hawaii, the Mauna Kea and, forgive me if I'm mispronouncing this wrong, Kiliawa volcanoes. The largest shield volcano in the solar system is Olympus Mons, found in Mars. This volcano was thought to be extinct. Very scary. <laughs> very, very, <laughs> very scary. Very scary. Very scary. Very scary. Are cinder cone volcanoes. These volcanoes are usually small. These, these volcanoes are made entirely out of loose fragments called cinders. A cinder cone volcano is formed by violent eruptions. <laughs> One example is Mount Pili in the East Indies. Next up are composite volcanoes or stratovolcanoes. Mount Geo is one of them. Stratovolcanoes are made out of um, alternating lava and pyroclast. Lava and cinders or pyroclasts. These are usually formed when um, volcanoes erupt. When volcano eruption varies between quiet to explosive eruption, Mount Stromboli, Mount Vesuvius in Italy, and Mount Mayon in the Philippines are also are examples of these types of volcanoes. Mount Geo is also an example of this type of volcano. Wait. All right. Next, we're gonna talk about the types of volcanoes based on activity. There, the first type of volcano is called the active volcano. It erupts all of the time. Well, the geo, it's also an active volcano. The next is a dormant volcano. Dormant volcanoes are volcanoes that have currently erupted, but entered a long period of not erupting, of dormancy. Yeah, that's the correct word. It's pretty hard to tell whether a volcano is extinct or not. Extinct volcanoes are uh, volcanoes that haven't shown signs of uh, erupting for a, a very, very, very long time. One example could be Mount Vesuvius in the middle of Italy. Alright, so now let's go move on ahead to Mount Geo, which is about to erupt soon. Okay, for, the, uh -oh. for lava, the food coloring, and so I already mixed it. Now, and you, and make sure you get this with you. And next, you need vinegar and baking soda. Why is First this? step. Or the soap. The bloody soap. Decades, not actually blood. It just looks like it. Now it's mostly orange. 
for the later.